Hey, so here I am. I want to talk to you today about what is more important than mindset. Now, is there anything more important than mindset? Many, there are many teachers, coaches, consultants, your friends, your family, mom, dad, child, who talk, who tell you about mindset, how important it is that you have a strong mindset and how, it, you know, the most important thing in success and in, in being filthy rich is, is mindset, have the right mindset. It doesn't matter what you coach on, what you consult on, everybody's talking about mindset. Hmm. Are they right? Well, I talk about something else. So when I tell people what I do, they say, oh, you just do mindset. I tell them, no, no, no. So I'll explain there. I'll explain to you what it is I do by answering that question. Is there anything more important than mindset? So let's, let's, let's uh, first of all, talk about where is your mind? I remember when I started my coaching business, I asked people, okay, if you keep telling me I do mindset, Tell me where my mind is. I need to know where it is. Because if I'm going to coach people on mindset, I need to know where it is, know what it is, know how it is, know what to fix and how to fix. So first of all, let's know where it is. Nobody could tell me. Absolutely nobody could tell me where my mind is. They could not point to it and say, that's your mind. Okay, your mind is here. And so I was being told some things about your soul and stuff like that. But it didn't click. And you know, let me let me drop this right here. Things must click for you at an energetic soul spirit level don't for you to use it repeat it do it and you must come with your whole chest and have the courage of your convictions and stand by what you believe don't mess about don't bend backwards don't start saying oh you know maybe it's this stop that do what you believe say what you believe you might be wrong that's perfectly all right you're a growing human being. Make sure you're studying, you're reading, you're constantly upgrading your own knowledge so that if you do find something better, something different, something to add to what you already know or you even need to change, then you do that. But you, you show up with everything you've got because none of us have got it all right, all perfect. We're not God, but we keep growing. There's somebody that you will help with all you know. At where you are so keep moving forward that's just an aside okay so nobody could tell me where my mind is so what i want to do for you right now is to break down the word mindset there are two words mind and set so i want to so 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 the way to say when we talk about oh when you set up your mind or when your mind is set or you have a mindset where did the mind come from where how come it's set who set it? What set it? That was what got me going. What set it? Who set it? How did it get set? So I'll give you an example using a house. A house is built. How does it get built? You know, you come in and you say, oh, wow, this is a great house. Wow, this is beautiful. But how did it get built? Did it, ju did it just come and be set as a house? Or did some, or some, did some things put it together to make it a house yes of course yes so let's forget the doors the windows let's just talk about the the shape of the square rectangle whatever it is how high it is forget the interior what furniture and stuff like that sinks uh, uh forget windows doors and all that let's just talk about the the building how did that building get set how did it get made so i want you to see the building the house as the mind and so we want to set that house. We want to make it a structure that stands. So, so we are talking about how your, your mind is structured. How did it, what structures, what puts it together to make it a structure? So we want to build a structure of a house. We get cement, prefabricated walls and things like that. But what, what, creates the, what, what is it fabricated from? What's, what is it fabric? It's mud, maybe, I don't know, cardboard. I don't know what prefab fabricated boards are. But if we want to build from scratch, we don't use what's prefabricated. We use block, cement blocks and cement to put, to stick one cement block on top of another. That's what we do. Okay, so how is a house built? by using cement 
and cement blocks. In some places, we'll put steel rods. Before that, we've got to dig a foundation and, and you know, dig deep and then lay it. The deeper, the, the taller the building, the deeper the foundation. So, we, so, you know, what builds a house is the cement and the cement blocks. So what builds your, your, your mind? What, what creates that structure? What do you think? Well, that's what I do. I teach thought set, sets of thoughts. People call them thought patterns, all kinds of names. But I teach you how to use your thoughts to set your mind, to build your mind, to structure your mind. So if you have a weak mindset, you have weak building blocks. Weak thoughts. If you have a strong mindset, you've used strong thoughts to, to create that mind. That mind is set with strong thoughts. So what is more important than mindset is thought set. So your thoughts, what are they? Number one, they're invisible. Number two, they're not, they're not, um, physical. You can't hold it, grab it. You can't see it. But there's something deep about thoughts that many people don't think about. They just, oh, just toss it away. It's a principle. The Bible says, it says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Not as a man has a mindset, so is he. Uh -uh. Not as a man has a mind, so is he. Uh -uh. It's as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And so um, maybe at another time, I'll teach you about what the mind is made up of according to the Bible and the different Greek words that are used there. Um, but what I want to say to you right now is your thoughts are so important and they are more important than your mind because to get the kind of mind you want, you need to have the right thoughts. So I teach you how to think to win in every arena of life. I teach you how to think to be wealthy, to be opulent in your life uh, so that you can teach others. Not so, uh, many of us sit on our gifts because we are thinking, oh, it might not work. Well, I don't have enough of this. I don't know how to do this. What if I fail? What if I succeed? Maybe I don't succeed enough. Maybe not, nobody pays me. It's all thoughts. It's our thoughts. And that's what makes us who we are. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. This is not rocket science. And many of us make it rocket science. So let's stop it. The most important thing in your life, the most important thing you can learn is the fine art of how to think. It's a fine art. Thinking is a spiritual activity. And you don't see spirit, it's invisible. It's, it's there, but you can't see it. That's all it means. So you are what you think. You're not what you eat. You're not where you go. You're not your mindset. You are what you think. Principles are just that, principles. You can't do anything about it. So that's why the Bible also says, renew your mind. For out of it are the issues of life. Sorry. That's not what it says. It says, renew, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. But then it says, guard your heart for out of it are the issues of life. You know, we can even merge those two principles together. Anyway, I hope this serves you. Stay strong. See ya on my next video. Bye-bye.